Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Having iced tea this morning. That's all right. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well. Oh, well, it's Friday, but it's also the first day of Epiphany. So today we're celebrating the Epiphany of the Lord uh, for January 6th. We're going to start off um, <clears throat> in Isaiah, and then we have a reading in the Psalms, and then we're going to Ephesians, and then the Gospel of Matthew. So let's get started. Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 through 6. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together, they come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you. The young camels of Midian and Ephah, all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. <clears throat> and amen. All right. Uh, the psalm will be this morning. Going to Psalm 72, verses 1 through 7 and then 10 through 14. And here we go. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to a king's son. May he judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. May the mountains yield prosperity for the people, and the hills in righteousness. May he defend the cause of the poor of the people, give deliverance to the needy, and crush the oppressor. May he live while the sun endures, and as long as the moon, throughout all generations. May he be like rain that falls on the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. In his days may righteousness flourish and peace abound, until the moon is no more. May the kings of Tarshish and the isles render him tribute. May the kings of Sheba and Seba bring gifts. May all kings fall down before him, all nations give him service. For he delivers the needy when they call, the poor and those who have no helper. He has pity on the weak and the needy, and saves the lives of the needy. From oppression and violence he redeems their life, and precious is their blood in his sight. All right. All right, uh, the epistle lesson this morning, we're going to Ephesians chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. And here we go. This is the reason that I, Paul, am a prisoner for Christ Jesus for the sake of you Gentiles. For surely you have already heard of the commission of God's grace that was given me, given me for you, and how the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I wrote above in a few words, a reading of which will enable you to perceive my understanding of the mystery of Christ. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humankind, as it has been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have become fellow heirs, members of the same body, and sharers in the promise of Christ, in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel, I have become a servant according to the gift of God's grace that was given me by the working of his power. Although I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ and to make everyone see what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things, so that through the church the wisdom of God in its rich variety might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in, heaven, in the heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal promise that <clears throat> he has carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have access to God in boldness and confidence through faith in him. All right. Love that. 
All right, the gospel text this morning. Going to Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. And they told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men, and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go, and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I, that I may also go and pay him homage. When they heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. And this is the word of the Lord. <clears throat> Just goes to show when you have an encounter with Christ, you go back a different way. So. All right. Well, today the, uh, the Revised Common Lectionary offers a series of prayers, it being the first day of Epiphany, and I'd like to share those with you. So, let us pray. O God of light and peace, whose glory, shining in the child of Bethlehem, still draws the nations to yourself, dispel the darkness that shrouds our path, that we may come to kneel before Christ in true worship, offer him our hearts and souls, and return from his presence to live as he taught. Amen. And then God of Revelation, as we gather in praise for the gracious mystery of your Son, we remember the many needs of your church and your world. Guide us on the path of salvation, O God, that the radiance and power of your Holy Spirit working in the world will gather together all peoples and nations in one community to offer you worship and proclaim your splendor. And Amen. And then, bright morning star, your light has come, and the birth of Jesus has overwhelmed us with joy. Like the Magi of long ago, may we be drawn to you and offer you such gifts as we are able. Amen. All right. Well, got something in my eye there. Well, uh, first day of Epiphany. It's a, a new season. So, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. Happy Friday. All that good stuff. So, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.